Hey guys, what is up? It is Carl Plankin with Plankin's Networking, and today we are hitting you guys up with another tutorial. If you guys are following up on the calendar, you know what today's tutorial is going to be on. We are going to be showing you guys how to create shortcuts via group policy. Now this will be to update, edit, or delete shortcuts on a user's desktop. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the organization unit we are going to be editing. For me, that is going to be under my root directory. And then under, under data center, under users, and then under elevated users. Now right here I'm going to right click and create new GPL. I'm going to do tutorial underscore shortcuts. And we're going to edit this. Now first thing we're going to do is go to preferences. And under preferences we're going to go to window setting and then shortcuts. Then we're going to right click and select new and then select shortcut. Now in the first instance we're going to create. You want to make sure you select the location first. In our case we're going to do desktop. If you do not select this first and you type in a name it will erase it once you do select the location. So the first thing we're going to create is uh, we'll do <clears throat> we'll do pnet underscore data. This will be for my business data that is located on my server so we can paste that in right there there's our address for that and then we're gonna click apply and that'll create that okay the next thing we're gonna do is show you how to create me delete something so in our case we're gonna do desktop and we're just gonna since I don't have a whole lot of stuff on my desktop we're gonna do Google Chrome and this will delete Chrome We'll click apply and we'll click OK. Then we're going to come to our client machine and we're going to click the flag button R. So super R depending on if uh, you guys go by super or not. But that is the flag button on your keyboard. We're going to type in CMD. For me it's already there. Then we're going to type in GP update slash force. Now what this is going to do, it's going to force your client's computer to update the, the group policy settings. And as you guys can see, it did delete Google, Google Chrome. And our peanut data is there and we can access it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to update this. So now what we're going to want to do, instead of updating, we're going to go to create. Change this to update. Now we're going to come here. And uh, we'll say we just wanted to go directly into Plankins Networking instead of my V6 Ford Mustang and Plankins Networking. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to click Apply, and OK. And then we'll run our group policy update again. Now I will warn you guys, in some cases you, you will have to delete the shortcut and then recreate it, but in our case it did work, and uh, it is going directly into Plankins Networking now. I, the reason I say in some cases is because this is kind of a really picky uh, group policy setting and if the scenario isn't right, if the privileges aren't, aren't right and uh, you know something on the security side of the folder or, or the network share you're sharing is screwed up, it will not share it unless you delete it and then recreate it. Now uh, that it also if the users do not have access to that folder it will not create that folder on their desktop. So let's say you dropped it into the root directory for all users to have access to it, but you in your security settings only have it so that your ER doctors can access that folder, then it will only create that folder on the ER computers. Uh, and I hope you guys, I, I guess that's kind of all for today. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below by clicking that big red button, and uh, make sure to check out our Facebook and our website page. Uh, you can go to those by going to www.plankins.com or our Facebook page is facebook.com slash plankinsnet, N-E-T. Thanks for watching though, you guys, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.